It could be just a quiet romantic flight and what happens up there happens up there. It's the simple approach to 45 year old pilot Scott Conaway's intimate business, Mile High Traverse City, something he calls an exclusive aerial club. I'm sure people have a lot of opinions about the Mile High Club, but I'm not sure what all of them are. The trick is here, I'm trying to do it safe and I'm trying to do it fun in a way that you're not going to get arrested on an airline or get in a lot of trouble. For years, Conaway has offered scenic air tours on his Piper Cherokee 6 aircraft, and he says this most recent venture actually started as a joke. I've always wanted to join the Mile High Club as a pilot, and I was joking about it and did a search on it one night and found there's actually quite a few people in the country that offer this service. And to be honest with you, I called one of them and they didn't return my call. So I went one step further and found a way to start it myself. And thus, Mile High Traverse City was born and has been providing clients with an intimate private setting, thousands of feet in the air for almost a year now. If I really got to pick my target customer, it would be a happily married couple that's looking for a really different anniversary. Uh, you know, if you're trying to outdo your husband for something, I bet you could beat him by a mile. Space is tight in a plane this size, so naturally Conaway had to make some changes. The rear two seats are out of the airplane. Uh, a very large, flat, comfy cushion has been installed. Conaway says he'll even make sure there's chocolates, flowers, or other romantic treats available on board. But he wants to make one thing extremely clear. One of the things I want to stress completely is discretion. We have a privacy curtain that spans uh, side to side on the airplane. It's a complete light blocking curtain. With a noise canceling headset on, you, re you can't hear anything either. A one hour flight starts at $390 and clients walk away with this certificate of membership to commemorate the event. Conaway says he understands and respects the fact that Mile High Traverse City just may not be for everyone. I would never ever push it on anyone and anybody who's willing to take the time to even read it about it. I appreciate you even taking the time to look.